good beer. Uh, Do you ever drink any Mojo over there, man? Uh, I've never been to the Philippines. Tell you don't want to drink mockery. Korean booze they make from rice. It looks like milk. No, no, the girlfriend's father had it in the 7-Up bottle. Here, take a swig. Oh, oh, oh. Meet another dude. What yeah. are you talking about? It looks like milk and tastes like diesel. <laughs> that happened to me. That happened to me. That happened to me. That happened to me with rice wine, with whiskey, and with ouzo. They had it in a different container. Here, take a big swig. You don't have some. You know, you think it's 7-Up or whatever. You take a big old swig of this fucking pure ouzo. <laughs> Do you ever have any uh, cattle stock or anything like that? <laughs> you know if you had it, had the big snake pulled up in it, man. That, man. I come back from the morning for one evening, and the, the girl I was staying with, she was renting the room out of a whole courtyard deal. It was from this guy who owns the place. And he's sitting out there in the courtyard. He got a bottle of Mockley up on the table. Here, have a drink. Well, all right. Be sociable. I'm not gonna piss the landlord off. Yeah. I'm pounding back. I looked at him and said, "You look like you got a pretty good buzz on." Most of this was all in Korean, though. He goes, "Yeah, I'm drinking since lunchtime." Wow. Yeah, I have another one. He poured another shot. They get when they get drunk. But I poured it, I poured it down. You know, man, that's the nasty. I've been drinking this since lunchtime. He said, "Since lunchtime, my ass." He reached out, he picked up the bottle of Johnny Walker. I give him a rental week before. He's, I'm drinking this since lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Germany, uh, Osbach. History. You're stuck in whatever yeah. city. It's it's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. The factories in Rudisheim. You do whatever. Make long stories short. Our company took a, a, a company trip over there, and we ended up on a tour. Well, everybody went that way, and me and my wife went this way, and we snuck in behind, tagged along on this tour to the Osbach factory. Now the Osbach factory is underground. It's five square kilometers of storage space. And they used to take large tours in there. And then one day somebody says, "Hey, you realize this shit's flammable? If something was to happen with all these people down here, I mean, you're talking like a a mega a megaton." Explosion, right? right. So, you so then they started the limiting the tour to like 20, 30 people. <laughs> leave your cigarettes in the car. Yeah. But when you go in there, all you smell is drunk. It smells good. The people that work there, they never catch cold. So this is 9 o'clock in the morning. We haven't even had breakfast. We get to the end, and they got free sandwiches. And they got them chocolates with the rum and everything, you know? Pop the question. And this fucking German finds out I'm American. Oh, here, drink, drink, drink. <laughs> now, I can do some drinking back there. But Osbach, I, I can drink two shots, and then I'll start gagging. That motherfucker tried to feed me that out. <laughs> <laughs> no. My family made schnocks. Yeah. That Osbach was going to choke my ass up. Leave. Kind of like my idiot nephew, he goes to take a tour at all these bourbon places. 